Challenge Cup final this weekend. How's preparation been? Really good, yeah. We had a good win last week, obviously, against Fatal Heath, who were a really good side, sort of kind of um, leading two teams at the moment. So it was good to get a win under our belt the, the, the game before the, the final. So we're all kind of raring to go now for the final. Yeah, building some momentum at the moment. You've beaten Fatoe three times this year, previously unbeaten for a couple of years, Fatoe. So uh, all the best form to go into the final with. Yeah, definitely. We've had a really good preparation. Um, everyone's been training really hard. We've got a really kind of good uh, atmosphere and kind of culture, if you like, and ethos at training. Um, everyone's getting down at training, working really hard. And I think once you start that running streak, obviously it kind of um, breeds itself. So, yeah, we're on a good run at the moment and we hope it's going to continue on Sunday. So there seems to be a really good atmosphere around training. The, the girls all seem buzzing and ready, ready to go. Yeah, I think um, that's really come from Mark with his, with his coaching. You know, every session is... is really spot on, well prepared. So everyone's come into the session and we're kind of um, concentrating from the start. That kind of then helps breed that kind of um, kind of confidence really and, and kind of standards that we take into the games. And how, how has today's training session gone? Yeah, we've had a bit of a light session. Obviously we've got we've had a big game um, on Sunday, so um, kind of feeling the effects of that physically. So we've just had a nice session, run through a few key points that we know um, we need to work on. It's been, particularly against Featherston, sort of reinforced a few things that we need to, to implement on Sunday. Um, and yeah, had a bit of a lighter session, so we're physically prepared for, for Sunday as well. And what would um, this uh, this strong Featherston Rovers side bring to the table? I think, yeah, Featherston are always renowned for being very strong in the forwards. They've got, you know, particularly a couple of good um, kind of England forwards in there. So we're going to be very strong down the middle. So that's something we need to be aware of um, and kind of uh, counter that. Um, I think where we've got a bit of strength is we've got that pace and kind of um, we've had some real joy going forward and, and out the back. So we're going to hopefully use that to our strength to to um, get the edge on that. Um, but I think in terms of Featherston, yeah, we need to make sure we're, we match them physically down the middle. How's your personal form at the moment? How are you finding it with the girls? Yeah, really good. It's my first season with Bradford. Um, I've come back from quite a serious shoulder injury. Um, so I've kind of six or seven games in now um, feeling feeling that I'm kind of getting back to my, my form um, and physically feeling fit. So, um, touch wood, my shoulder's holding up and, uh, yeah, feeling good. And making that back row lose forward position your own? Yeah, there's, there's a bit of competition in the Bradford team. So, you know, I'm, at the moment, I'm, I'm getting getting in there still. Um, and But I think it, it's great and I think that's what's really pushing um, Bradford to kind of lead the way in the league and, and the cup um, this year is there is competition for places so you can't rest on your laurels you've got to really put it in in every game and every training and um, you know every time your name's on that team sheet you know you, you're really pleased and you, you're you really satisfied that you've done the work to get in the team because it's not you can't take it for granted. Yeah. And what would it mean to you to uh, win some silverware this weekend? Yeah, it'd be fantastic, I think, particularly for Bradford. You know, they've had a, a few close shares over the years and, and, and not won the cup. Um, I've previously won it with Fatal Heath, um, so it'd be nice to, to actually come here and win, win the cup in my first season with Bradford um, and kind of really looking forward to hopefully contributing that. And, and, you know, it'd be a great win for the girls and great win for Mark as well.